tricks. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to take your 613 yellow blonde wig and transform it into this super sexy, ashy, shadow rooted, much more wearable wig. If you're into learning all of these super secret hairdresser tips and tricks from your hairdresser bestie, which is me, then don't forget to subscribe down below and keep on watching. Here she is, here's our girl. So this wig is called Gabrielle and she's by Uni Wigs and she is a lace front wig. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put her on a mannequin head. I don't have like a wig stand or like a wig head. So I just shaved one of my old mannequin heads and I used this mannequin head to cut and dye all of my wigs. So before we start, I'm gonna be honest here, there were a few tumbles along the way. Dyeing human hair wigs is actually very different than dyeing a normal person's head of hair. Even though wigs are human hair, they kind of take differently because the hair isn't just from one person, it's from multiple people. So the porosity levels on the wigs can sometimes vary. So you can kind of get areas that take a lot and areas that don't take at all. So you really, really need to be patient in your approach and you need to prepare yourself that you're going to need more than one coat for sure. That brings me to tip number one, prepare for a time consuming procedure. This is what I call hair surgery. Prepare yourself. Dyeing this wig took me almost an entire work day and that's because you need to prepare yourself for multiple coats. You're going to do a coat. You're going to see how it takes. You're going to rinse it. You're going to dry it. You're going to start again. You're going to adjust your formula and you're going to work that way. The pigment needs to be layered when it comes to dyeing extensions or dyeing human hair wigs and they often take a little bit differently than they do on a normal client. So just prepare yourself to adjust along the road when you are working on your wig. So the first color I started with here was a seven natural. I want this wig to look super ashy, but if I added an A or an ash into this formulation, I guarantee you it would turn green. And the reason I know this is because I've dyed a lot of 613 hair. Every single time you use an A on the first coat, it goes completely green. In reality, I probably should have added even a copper or a gold to the formulation to fill the hair shaft in in order to go darker because going from light to dark is more like a color correction, but I didn't want to do that because I was afraid she was going to get too warm on the roots and then there'd be no going back. So I just did a 7N with 10 volume developer. Tip number two, paint carefully so that you do not touch the lace. I don't use a barrier cream or anything. I just freehand, but when it comes to the front and to the areas with lace, I am extremely careful to paint with as much precision as possible and to not touch the lace. Get as close to the lace as you possibly can, but don't touch it. This is why this is like surgery. It takes a long time. You have to go slow and you have to be careful because if you ruin your lace, that's it. Tip number three, time your blonde toning appropriately to your permanent root color. So what does that mean? Basically, permanent color takes 30 minutes to process. Depending on your toner, it takes anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes. So I decided to tone this ashy, and I find that ashy toners can go green pretty quickly, especially on extensions or on wigs. So what I did is I waited for 10 minutes, then I started toning the rest of the blonde. I connected the root color to a toner in a level nine. So the toner that I used was a 9BA in Goldwell. I went with the 9BA from where I saw the root color into the mid shaft of the hair, and then I connected a brighter toner for the ends. So the toner that I used on the ends was a 10BA. These beige ash toners are super sexy in the Goldwell line. They have a super smoky quality to them. Then I let that process for 15 to 20 minutes, watching it very carefully just in case I needed to rinse it off before the root color. Tip number four, when washing your wig, use cold water to prevent bleeding into the lace cap and let the water drain down the hair. Don't rough up the hair too much as this could cause a lot of damage to your wig. So this is what we're left with now. Look at how unbelievably green this turned out. It was so gross. In hindsight, if I was doing this again, I probably used a gold, but I was just worried that the ashy quality that I wanted would be disrupted with that. It doesn't really matter anyways, because we're gonna go over it again and deepen it up. Now I did the exact same application as I did before, but I went deeper and I used a 5NN in Goldwell in the Cover Plus line. So this is a demi permanent color and it stains the cuticle layer. I find that this has an excellent hold and can actually work better than a permanent color can when going darker on a very light wig. Now I'm just blow drying her out, smoothing the cuticle layer down by directing airflow down and look at this gorgeous quality that this color has. Oh my God, I am so in love. Mm -hmm. 
Now, when it comes to styling, I love using my T3 one and a quarter inch curling iron. The way that I achieve that modern, not too fussy, not too curly, wavy look is by clamping at the root, moving down the hair, winding up, unwinding the iron, pushing down, winding up to finish that curl, and then smoothing down to straighten out the ends. I did a whole video on this curl pattern. There's no talking in this video, but you can get a super clear view of how I actually create this wave. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll leave it in the pinned comment below. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to dye a very blonde wig and you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I've done it a bunch of times and I have lots of other tips for you if you get stuck. If you want to see how I transformed a really ugly AliExpress wig into Kim Kardashian's really modern trending bob haircut, then go ahead and watch that video next. I'll see you next week. Bye.